is Ben here. In fact, that's not my normal intro. Hey guys, my name is Ben, <laughs> and welcome back to episode 40. I got this wrong last time. I think this is episode 45, maybe, of Bucket Plugging Tutorials, and I've been there away a while. That's because I got this new computer. That's why there are less things here. Um, so, yeah, remember if you want a custom plugin, go down to the link below, get a custom plugin. Um, that's just my price generator thingy, where I get prices. Where I, I work out what price it should be. So yeah. Anyway, let us let us um, let us get on with this plugin. This plugin is going to be a well flatland generator plugin, um, which we're going to make. So let's just set up a new project. I'm going to call it YouTube. And right click properties Java build path add external jars download the latest craft bucket. Let's make a new class. Let's put it in a package com dot pc pros dot me dot bench three dot world generator. You should have this already set up. Generator. If you don't, gen generator. That's how you spell it. I'm going to call the class um, world generator like that. Uh, and this is going to extend the Java plugin. We're going to uh, add or on enable, so public void on enable. You can just do control space to bring that up, and you can get the on enable quicker. Let's make a logger. So logger logger equals uh, get logger. Um, sorry, no. logger dot get logger. I don't like doing the whole just get logger thing. Logger dot get logger Minecraft. And let's just say I'm just pressing keys. Um, logger dot info uh, world or YouTube has been enabled. Let's just just quickly so we know how to set this up properly. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to set the default world generator for this plugin. So if this plugin is being used as a world generator, uh, this is where we'll load. So we do this by pressing Control Space. And we do get default world generator. You see that's there. So if we just double click on that, it'll bring up this chunk generator thingy. Um, now what we want to do is we want to return a new flatland generator, um, which is what we're going to make now. And that's going to take this uh, just so we can get this class in an instant of the other class. So let's create the new class and finish. Uh, let's add the constructor by chain control space enter and it's going to take world generator as an instance so if we just import everything using control um, control shift O control shift F control shift S it's basically what I pressed every like five seconds <laughs> um, so yeah and we're going to make a world generator so world generator plugin and we're going to set the plugin equal to instance, like that. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to add our generate block sections method. Um, and what this does is it generates the world. And what it's called is if we just hit control space, actually it's not, let's type it out. So what it's called is um, public byte. So it returns a byte. Um, which is in a multi-dimensional array. So we put two open square brackets. You can Google that multi-dimensional arrays, or you can find tutorials on YouTube about them. I'm not going to go into it this uh, tutorial, um, but I will sort of explain it. And then it's called generate block sections. Uh, and in the parentheses, we put the world. So world's world. Um, we have a random object. So random uh, are random uh, int chunk x. Which is going to be the chunk. It's going to be x a value of the chunk it's in. The int chunk y. So the y value of the chunk it's in. And it's going to take a biome grid, um, and we're just going to call this biome grid. So that's what the biome is basically. So let's just import everything from org.bucket.world and random from java.util. So if we, um, what we'll do is we'll make a byte. We'll make a multi-dimensional array byte and we'll call it result um, and it's going to be equal to a new byte which is going to be equal to the world dot get uh, max height divided by 16 which is the length of the 
every chunk um, and then just leave the second uh, square bracket empty and then we're just going to return return result just to get rid of that error for now we haven't actually set result anything inside the array equals to anything so, so let's make int x y and z just like that so we've made three ints int x y and z now what we're going to do is we're going to make a for loop so for x equals zero so we're setting equals to zero and we're going to loop through this while x is less than 16 and then x plus plus so what's it going to do is it's going to go all the way across the the grid uh, on the x-axis and then if we actually just copy this change x to uh, z and z so we're just going to fill the whole of the the bottom layer of the um or we're just going to fill a chunk so a chunk is going to be filled with something so that's looping through all the chunks just one one level uh nothing else uh, we actually want to set a set block method so we can easily set blocks instead of having to type a crazy you know method every time so let's just call this private uh, void set block um, it's going to take the byte not to dimensional array byte uh, result int x int y int z for where it's going to be and the block id for the byte so if we just put that there now what we're going to do is we're going to say if the result um, y shifted to the right four is equal to null. So if the chunk hasn't been generated yet is what that actually means. Um, or if, if that block hasn't been, um, what's the word? If the block hasn't been initialized, then we're going to set it. Um, then we're going to set result um, y shifted right four equal to a new byte. Uh, four thousand four ah four oh nine six, which is the amount of which is the biggest item there is, uh, you know, in this game. This is the biggest item value. Uh, that needs to be a double equal sign. Uh, we then want to set result uh, equal or no result um, y shifted right four. So this is a bitwise operation, which you can again Google. Um, it's basically just shifting bits to make different numbers. So uh, y shifted right four. Uh, and then new square brackets, uh, brackets, brackets, y, uh, and oxf. So what that is, is, uh, oh, is it an o? What that is, is y, it's anding together y and oxf. And what oxf is, is it, it's a basically just a big number. So we're going to shift that right, shift that left, 8. Um, and then what we're going to do is all this, which is the line, uh, with z shifted left shifted left four uh, or x okay and that's going to be equal to the block id so what it's doing is it's getting this um this block here and we're setting it equal to the block id so here what we want to do is we want to set block we want to set the result at x zero z so we want to set the whole of the bottom layer equal to we're going to cast it to a byte um, because else it's going to be an integer. So byte material dot bedrock dot get id like that. Okay. So say we want to set the next what uh, t two levels as dirt or so. So if we copy this this uh, all of this here and we just add a four z equal oh sorry uh, y equals one because we've already set the bottom layer to bedrock. And we're going to do this whilst y is less than or equal to 2. So it's going to do it for two levels. And then y plus plus. Um, expand that out. We want to move this into here. We're going to do the same thing again, but change 0 to y and change bedrock to dirt. Like so. And if we copy this all again, if we want to set the top level as dirt, we actually want to copy this. Um, we want to paste this down here. And we want to set the third layer as grass so just grass to get id and then we should return, return result uh, something else we can do is if we do uh, public location um, public location get fixed spawn location and it's going to take world and a random variable we can just return a new location at the world at zero 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 
um, well that didn't work. Return and just do that. Keep that in there. Import bucket location. There we go, and format it. So it looks like that. I'm just going to return a fixed location, so it'll always spawn there. And finally, we have to return a block populator, which is going to be what um, where trees and caves and stuff spawn. So if we just uh, get the default bot. Uh, default populator um, we want to return a new array list which is going to take block populator into its parameters which um, we don't we don't we don't want anything in this uh, the block populator which wants to be a flatland you know so yeah that's it that's all it is um, let's just make a plugin to YML so new file, plugin dot plugin dot uh, The main is the package. So if we copy the package uh, dot world generate generator. Um, the version is one, and description is a, a world generate. Plugin, I got an email. I don't want Windows 8. No one wants Windows 8. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the game. I am an idiot. Why did I put description? Why did I put description? Uh, name. <laughs> name is what it is. Um, YouTube. Cool. Now we can. Now I can see you in the game. Okay, so I'm in. It's gonna be laggy like for you because I'm doing everything right now. I I left my computer on. Um. For a few days now, uh, I haven't turned it off, which I need to do. I need to restart it. I've got about a thousand programs. I've got antivirus running. I'm rendering. I'm running a server in whatever how much RAM I set. I think I set like six gigabytes of RAM to this server, and then I'm also recording. Plus, it's Camtasia, so it's going to be recording at fairly, fairly low FPS. Um, so anyway, I'm using Multiverse because Multiverse is ignore this. This is um, so I'm updated yet. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ignore that. You won't have. You won't have that. Um. I'm using multiverse to generate the world because that's what I do. But you can somewhere, I think it's in fuckit.yml, you can you can set um, what what plugin you want the uh, the generator to use and stuff like that. So if we just do mv create, um, let's do mv create. I forgot how to do it. It's mv create. Okay, mv create. Um, I'm gonna create a world called YouTube. Uh, the environment's going to be normal, so improve it normal, uh, and then we do dash h, I think it is, or dash just g, and we're going to set it to YouTube because that's why I named the plugin. Uh, failed, 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 failed. Easy cannot be loaded because it contains an error. Yay! Um. Um, let's try changing this number to 256 because sometimes methods are broken. Let's try export that, reload, do the same. Let's not call it YouTube, let's call it YouTube 1. No, failed. Hmm. Let's use Chunkster. Be right back, guys. Okay, so let's try something. I think I know why. Um, I haven't done this in a bit. So if we just copy all everything in there, and if we control space, and we type in generate, we have generate exit block section. So let's just do that. Let's paste this in here. Let's change this to a short um, int chunk uh, chunk x ink chunk z let's move to a new short uh, we're going to copy this method we're going to change this to short change this to short like that uh, cast this to short um, change this to short like that cool so if we change this to short 
change this to short, change this to short, like that. We should have it working. So we'll see if it works. If it does not work, I have another idea. It's going well. This is a difficult tutorial. Reload. Reload complete. MV create um, test YouTube is awesome. Um, normal. Let's remove the exclamation mark. Normal. Um, slash G YouTube. Complete. Now, if we do MV TP YouTube, doesn't have to have YouTube. Uh, MV import. Oh, that's not that's not the word. MV TP YouTube is awesome. How do I spell it? YouTube is awesome. Yeah. YouTube is. Did I spell it wrong? Test YouTube is awesome. I, why did I name it something ridiculous? I didn't think this through. Multiverse test right. Test YouTube is A W E S O M E. And I didn't put the capital. Is, is it? Does it not know? No, it doesn't. Uh, MV imports. Oh no, that's not what I want to test. Let's create a new word. MV <laughs> creates uh, LP. Why not LP? <laughs> LP normal dash G YouTube complete. MV TP LP. Flatland. Now what's our coordinates? Oh, ignore that. That's a that's a, another plugin. Um, what are our coordinates? We're at one and a half because um, it moved this way. There we go. We're here. Okay, cool. Zero. Zero zero, and we're at four. If we dig down one, we've got dirt, two dirt, and then bedrock like that, like so. Thank you for watching, guys. Next episode. I don't know. I always say this. I always say next episode we'll do this, but we never ever do. Um, so what we're going to do next? Well, not next episode, but hopefully next episode is we're going to be doing about block populators and how to fill this this lovely world we've generated over there and just biomes, different biomes with like trees and, and caves and stuff. And that looks really weird if you look down there. That's really really odd. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.